For this experiment, you're going to need your science book, some flexible tubing, a sink with a plug or a deep basin-like container, a measuring cup, an empty milk jug, and water. The first step is to either fill up your basin halfway with water or put a stopper in your sink and fill your sink up halfway with water. Once you get it filled completely to the top, you want to make sure that your milk jug lid is secure completely all the way on. So step four, you're going to invert your jug and put the lid all the way underneath the water. It will be heavy, so be careful. You might need a, a second helper. And twist it. Then you stick the tube. Hold the one side out of it, of the tube. There you go. Just a little. Just, just a little. So you can get in there. Well, no, you can water in the book. More water than regular. Okay, now you're gonna have to hold it both, okay? You're gonna have to hold it in the tube. Okay, I got you. Thank you for the food. Thank you for the assistance. Okay, I don't know what he's supposed to do. Okay, cool. now keeping it completely inverted, take the deepest breath you can. You might wanna take a practice breath. Deep breath. Now take a deep breath and you're gonna blow in one continuous breath without pausing to breathe in again. Blow until there is no left air left in your lungs. Before you die. Yeah. Water's gonna come out though. Okay. Oh gosh, this is almost over. I know, try not to move it at all. Maybe this is why you suggest doing it in the sink. Okay. So as you blow, the air will travel into the jug, displacing the water. The more you blow, the less water will be in the jug. If you're reasonably athletic, you might blow all the water out of the jug. Most students will not. So now we're going to have to put the lid back on the jug while the jug is inverted and the opening is underwater. How the heck do you do that? Then once the cap is securely on, you can pull it up out from the water. And our student is not watching, she's just playing with the water. Okay. Is it still? We had a small water mishap, so we're cleaning up a little bit. Remove the jug from the water, turn it right side up, and take off the lid. And then we're going to measure what's left. So get your measuring cup. And, and try to fill exactly to one cup. To one. And do it again. This is a two cup thing. How much is in there? One and three quarts. Well, one and it's one and a half cups. One and a half. Yeah. So you had three and a half cups. Three and a half cups, yes. So there are 16 cups in a gallon. Subtract the number of cups of water that were in the jug from 16. 
and that will tell you your lung's vital capacity. So please note this does not measure the total amount of air in your lungs because even after you exhale as much as possible, there is still significant of amount of residual air left in your lungs. And I got you yawning. So your vital capacity is 13 and a half 